mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, I did mention that we're going to be looking at, you know, this exam um, type question. And we're going to check to see if now, based on what we've been doing together, right, are we able to answer, you know, the questions that are given to us. So with this example, right, we are told that Jimmy is a 66-year-old entrepreneur who earns an annual taxable income of 627,010 rand. We are told that Jimmy's spouse is on his medical aid. We are given very important information here, right, that tells us what we need to look at, right? When we obviously have a look at our tax table, we are told Jimmy's age. He is 66 years old. We are told Jimmy's annual taxable income, which is 627,010. And we are told that Jimmy pays his medical aid for himself and his wife. So we need to obviously also look at the medical aid section, right? So that basically means that when we want to calculate the total tax payable that Jimmy will have to pay, what will we actually be looking at, right? For us to calculate, okay? So for us to calculate the total tax that Jimmy needs to pay, we need to focus on the following things. To calculate Jimmy's total tax payable, what will we look at? We'll basically find out what is Jimmy's tax payable before rebates. Then we will minus rebates. And then we will minus medical credits. Okay, that is basically where our mind needs to be at, right? We need to basically minus the rebates and minus the medical credits because why we given information that Jimmy pays medical aid. We're also given information about Jimmy's age. Therefore, we obviously, if we talk about a person's age, that means that we can um, obviously, you know, look into the rebates that he qualifies for. All right. So now let's have a look at the questions okay so what are annual tax rebates in this given context right so remember we've already spoken about this right that your annual tax rebates right are is basically an amount that reduces the tax that you're supposed to pay right or we can just say a relief that individuals get from the tax that you are supposed to pay okay so let's write that down so an annual tax rebate is an amount that reduces the tax that an individual is liable to pay good let's have a look at the next question verify showing all calculations that jimmy's tax that he pays per month is more than eleven thousand. so now we need to be very careful here right in this question this question basically wants us to calculate Jimmy's total tax payable per month. So how do we calculate Jimmy's total tax payable per month? We are basically going to use this, okay? We're going to first start off by calculating how much tax is he supposed to pay before rebate. Then we subtract the rebate. Then we subtract the medical credits that he qualifies for. So now, at this point, we already know what we need to do. If you've been watching my lessons, we first need to now check to see which tax bracket does Ujimi fall in, okay? So when you basically look at this question, right, we were given that his annual taxable income, his annual income that can be taxed is 627,010 rand. So in which tax bracket does this amount fall in okay it falls within the first second third let me just say this the third fourth fifth six seven which tax bracket okay it falls in the fourth tax bracket because six hundred and twenty-seven thousand and ten rand is within this interval so what does this mean it basically means that we are going to use this formula that's given to us here to help us calculate how much tax ujimi needs to pay before rebates before medical credits okay so please take note of that so to get the tax payable 
before rebates, before, um, you know, medical credits, based on that image there, we know that it's going to be 115,762 plus 36 percent of taxable income above 488,000 okay that is how we're going to go about calculating you know um jimmy's tax payable before rebates and medical credits okay so from here we're going to say it's equal to so we're going to just keep this value 115,762 plus 36 percent is 36 over 100 of means multiply remember we've spoken about this how do we determine the taxable income above 480,000 uh 488,700 we are basically going to take jimmy's annual income of 627,010 and then we're going to minus this amount of 488,700 okay then from there remember we need to always show the bits and pieces okay we can't just jump uh steps so we need to show you know every bit and piece so one five one one five seven six two plus this is the same as saying 0 0.36 multiplied by what do you get there so six two seven um zero one zero minus four eight eight seven hundred is equal to multiplied by one three eight okay then from there we're just going to obviously multiply this and this together it's going to be a hundred and uh fifteen seven six two plus zero point three six multiply one three eight three one zero how much do you get you get forty nine thousand seven hundred and ninety one comma sixty and if you punch this into your calculator one one five seven six zero plus four nine uh, seven nine one point six zero what do you get you get one six five 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 three five five three comma six zero so we basically see that that is how much jimmy has to pay his tax payable before we need you know before we look at the rebates and the medical credits that he qualifies for but remember we want to actually determine what is the total tax that he needs to pay okay first per annum then we want to divide that by 12 to get the total tax that he has to pay per month okay so remember then to then finalize this to get the total therefore total tax payable what do we need to do remember i said you take the tax payable before rebates then you minus the rebates that he qualifies for then you minus the medical credits okay so therefore now we calculate it what is the tax payable before the rebate it's 165,553,60 minus now we need to basically look which rebates does Ujimi qualify for? Remember, we are basically told that Jimmy is 66 years old, right? So if he's 66 years old, that basically means that, yes, he qualifies for the primary rebate because I did mention that everyone who earns a taxable income qualifies for the primary rebate. What other rebate does he qualify for? He qualifies for the secondary rebate because he is 66 years old so that's over i'm 65 years old so the rebates that he's going to qualify for is at 16,000 and that 9,000. so what does that mean it basically means that we want to minus those rebates so we want to minus okay we can minus that 16,000 425 and we also want to minus okay that 9000 okay some learners will see that you can also just take 16425 plus 9000 and you can just it's the same as just minusing 25425 so it just depends how you want to look at that minus now we want to minus the medical credits so how much you know does he qualify for when it comes to medical credits so remember here we were told that he pays for medical aid for him and his um wife so it's just two people right so all that we need to do we want to go to the medical credits right so here we are told that the taxpayer 
qualifies to get 347 plus okay but then in this case right you need to just take note of this we are told that if you are the tax the taxpayer and one dependent that's how much they qualify for so in this case jimmy and his wife qualify to get that 694 rand uh, medical credit but remember this is per month okay we can't just deduct the per month uh, medical credits we need to change that to be an annual um, medical credit amount so what do we need to do there we can just take so we're going to subtract remember we said that he qualifies for that 600 and um, 94 so it's going to be 694 but remember i mentioned that we need to change that into an annual amount so we need to just multiply that by 12 to get what the annual amount is okay so honestly what we can see here is that it's going to be that 165,553,60 minus okay the rebates that he qualifies for so we said that's going to be 25,000 at 425 minus what's the medical credits that he qualifies for which is 8328 okay so that basically means that right um the total tax that uchimi actually has to pay will just be 165553,60 minus 25425 minus 83 to eight what do you get you will basically get a hundred and eight hundred comma six or six zero okay that's how much he has to pay his annual tax payable right remember this is the annual tax payable how much he pays towards his tax per year but remember we want to determine what the monthly tax payable so what do we need to do for us to determine the monthly tax payable we are just going to take that 131,800.60 we are going to divide that by 12 so if you divide that by 12 how much do you get you'll get that jimmy actually pays 10,983.38 um towards his tax per month all right okay so from this what can we you know basically uh, confirm we can confirm that if he's paying ten thousand nine hundred and eighty three point three eight um per month right we can actually see that okay this is actually less than eleven thousand per month so we can see that he actually pays less than um eleven thousand per month but now you know this question kind of makes it seem like we need to verify um that he's paying like it makes you kind of almost think that you're supposed to get eleven thousand. are you also getting the same um feeling because maybe if it said that jimmy made a statement that he pays you know eleven thousand, verify whether um his statement is correct but if they're saying verify it kind of makes it seem like you're supposed to get eleven thousand. okay but anyway with this question what we can basically verify is that his statement is invalid he pays less than eleven thousand per month okay remember here he basically says that he pays more than eleven thousand so his statement is invalid right so we've basically um completed that question there question number three question number three say explain why citizens who are 75 years and older pay tax or pay less tax than citizens younger than 75 years old so they're asking us why do citizens who are 75 years and older pay less tax than um citizens that are younger than 75 why is that so we already know that based on you know um the rebates okay based on the rebates we saw that if you are a 75 year old citizen okay that earns a taxable income you actually qualify for more than one rebate you qualify to get the primary rebate the secondary rebate and the tertiary rebate deducted from the tax that you're supposed to pay so we can see that okay that is why if let, let's say for example you had a 75 year old that was earning um maybe let's say for example using this example here earning a, a taxable income of 627,010 rand right um and we found that okay the tax payable 
their tax that they're supposed to pay is supposed to be 165,553,60. And you also had maybe, you know, a 25 year old that earned the same taxable income of 627,010 rand. Why would, you know, the amount of tax that, you know, a 75 year old pay be less than the 25 year old? Why? Because if you look at the 25 year old, we would just subtract one rebate but if you looked at the 75 year old we'd subtract the primary we'd subtract the secondary and we'd subtract the tertiary okay so that's basically what this question is saying okay so we can basically answer that there okay so what we can basically conclude here is that the 75 year old um would qualify for the primary secondary and tertiary rebates while someone younger than 75 years old would only qualify for the primary or the primary and secondary rebates okay so that is why um you know a person or citizens who are younger or who are 75 years and older would pay less than citizens that are younger than 75, 75 years old okay even though they earn the same taxable income so i hope that basically makes sense right just looking at obviously if they're both earning like a person that's 25 years old a person that's 75 years old if they earn 627,010 rand if we looked at the total tax payable would it be the same no it wouldn't be the same okay because with the 75 year old would just minus three rebates but it's a 25 year old would minus one so that is what's happening there okay so i hope you guys understand that part there now with question four right um this is obviously not a tax um calculation right they just want us to determine you know the increase okay what is the um uh, increase so they, we are told that jimmy's annual gross salary of you know 677,848,65 increased by 5.8 percent in 2022 calculate his annual salary in 2021 before the increase okay but what we basically need to be careful of here right is that we want to determine how much was his salary before the increase so what i normally do right i just make use of the table right i make use of this table to help me out with this right so just think of it this way i'm just going to draw this table here okay so we want the amount before the increase the increase and the amount after increase okay amount before increase okay i did mention that ah this one is just a clean amount okay amount before the increase i always just say this it's the clean amount we haven't added anything to that amount it's just a hundred percent then we increase this amount by how much they're telling us that we increase it by 5.8 percent then what is the amount after increase okay after increase it's going to be 105.8 percent okay so if we want to calculate what was jimmy's gross salary before the increase what do we need to do we are just going to take that you know 1000 i mean 677,848,65 okay then you multiply by what do we want so what do we want in this situation we want to determine what was jimmy's gross salary before the increase okay so before the increase you want to multiply by 100 percent divided by what you have what does this amount here represent it represents the amount after the increase so we're going to just divide by what we have which is 105 comma eight percent okay so what do we get when you punch this into your calculator you get that his you know gross salary before the increase was six hundred and forty thousand um six hundred and eighty eight comma seven zero five one so this is approximately six hundred and forty thousand um six hundred and eighty eight comma seven one that is basically what his annual gross income or salary before the increase so this one obviously this is not you know a tax calculation we just want to determine what you know does his salary or what was his you know 
annual gross salary uh, before the increase. So that's just something additional um, um, to what we've been doing. So if maybe that was something that you were interested in, you wanted to determine how you need to sort out question number four, um, that's how you need to go about doing that part there. I just always just make use of this table. So if you've been watching all my you know, video tutorials, this table should look familiar to you because I use it a lot when we're calculating that. Just think about what is the amount before increase, okay? Same as, like, if we if I basically compare it with what we do with VET, what is the amount excluding VET? Remember, okay, if you've been watching my tutorials. So it's just a clean amount. It's 100%. Then you add the increase. It increased by 5.8%. So what's the amount after the increase? You need to add these values together, and then you get that. Then you just multiply by what you want, divide by what we have. That will help us move backwards okay it would be incorrect for us to think that we must just multiply by 5.8 percent over 100 then minus that from that no it would be incorrect because this um 677,848.65 is not the amount before increase so if you're gonna take 5.8 divided by 100 our, that thinking is incorrect because then if we divide it by 100, you are you are seeing that this amount is the amount before the increase and it's not. Okay, so that is why you need to basically tackle it in this way so that obviously we do not make any unnecessary mistakes. Okay, so I hope that we learned, you know, a thing of two when it comes to this video tutorial on how we need to basically calculate a person's tax when we're given their age when we're given that they contribute towards medical aid, how do we go about using the taxable income table? How do we go about using the tax rebates table? And how do we work with the medical and tax credits table to calculate how much that person would pay per year towards their tax and per month towards their tax? So I'm going to close it there for today's video tutorial. Please let me know, did the previous lessons help you when it comes to approaching this question um, more easily? please comment down below and um, just tell me um, what's your take on that, All right? So I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. On the next tutorial, we are just going to be looking at the last question where we're just now adding, putting everything together. But now in this case, right, if they tell you that this person is contributing towards, you know, pension and donations, what must we do with that okay how does the pension fund contributions and the donations affect a person's annual taxable income so please make sure that you watch that lesson and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.